yo what is good my beautiful army i told y'all i told y'all we here we are doing a baki hanma tier list on every single character of baki that has been in baki that we've seen in baki boxing in baki okay every single character that you know that had a very huge importance in baki okay we got every single one here laid out okay we even got my boy Yichirohama in here over time it is man and this is going to be the ultimate baki tier list since we just came off a beautiful season of baki so we're going to do every single character that we have seen that has had an importance in this motherfucking man but y'all boys know what to do though please like please sub please comment let's just hop straight into it for the first character as you can see muhammad ali jr now his arc season whatever you want to call it i like how they made him the main character for a bit they really made him think that you know him going up against baki's foes you know that he would able to stand a chance you know what i'm saying and then his father also pushing him past his limits it was it, it was very heartfelt but still at the end of the day he must understand one 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 thing he is not the main character and he is not that nigga so i feel like you know it wasn't really surprising that the nigga lost to baki like and the nigga finished him with ease by the way with ease but i still do have a final respect for bro because he did go up against baki he was talking crazy on baki so i have to put bro i'm gonna put him in at least b tier i'm gonna put muhammad ali jr in at least b tier because i like i do think he is a valid fighter he really is a valid fighter but i don't think like you know what i'm saying with some of the a tier fighters that we're going to rank right now that i just don't think obviously he went up against some of these a tier fighters too and lost he lost against these a tier fighters so it's 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 really just like come on man. we got baki hanma the goat himself obviously the great season that we just came off with we already know where this man goes okay but obviously, if y'all want that explanation, the nigga went up against you, Jirohama, the strongest creature ever. The nigga got recognized by the strongest, world's most feared man on the earth as the strongest human being, okay? He went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, head to head. You know what I'm saying? Every single foe that stepped in front of him, he beat Oliver, done for. Jack Hanma, done for. Pickle, done for. Like, every single person that stepped in front of him, bro got defeated and he just can't you know what i'm saying it just don't get any better than this it just don't it just don't okay baki is really him baki is really that nigga and after this season it is really solidified that for 18 years the training bro has been going through he is he is hanma bloodline and the hanma family is is not a force to be reckoned with chicharu uh now i'm not gonna lie i feel like in the first beginning seasons of baki we didn't really get to see bro a lot but i feel like in this season okay he was at he he, he, he I, I was surprised that he was actually training up baki or not really training up baki like baki was just learning from him and just just like they was just bouncing energy off each other which is something that i was very surprised to see because i thought he was just some low class ass fighter that was next to yama and i'm gonna keep it a thousand with you bro yama is really not that strong so i really just thought this nigga was lower than yama so when i'm seeing this nigga boxing up against baki my nigga but granted again baki wasn't even really fighting his way he was fighting in a chiraharu way you know it was like damn like you know what i'm saying but still at the end of the day i gotta give bro his respect where respect is due but i do think he can i feel like he can go up against muhammad ali jr but i don't know like for me like i really don't want to put him in that b tier because b tier is like solid fighters i could say like okay you know if you put like if you put like 20 niggas in front of them you know what i'm saying you if you put 20 niggas in front of this person then they'll be able to you know what i'm saying do a little something something and be fancy with it him i don't know so i'm gonna put bro at decent because i do feel like he can hold his own uh, in a fight i need he can definitely hold his own in the fight as we saw dopo orochi now when he fought one of the five akatsuki's from baki 
because that's why I'm calling them the Akatsuki's. I know the five villains, I forgot their names. But when he found one of the five villains from Akatsuki's, from Baki, um, bro got his hand cut off at first, but then he, he did redeem himself. He did redeem himself. He got put in a Genjutsu, but then after he redeemed himself by fighting out of the Genjutsu. So I really got to give re respect to where respect is due. Now, I do think he is a solid class martial artist fighter. So I have to put bro i have to put bro in the solid solid a tier because i do think if he went up in, i'm pretty sure he did fight muhammad ali jr and he beat the shit out that nigga twice by the way actually was it once or twice I, i'm pretty sure it was once but i don't know but he beat the dog shit out that nigga so i gotta give him that a tier man himself kaiu dorian so Ha, huh, Kyrie Dorian, aka Mavi. I ain't gonna lie, he was putting the beats on that boy in the lair when he came down to his lair. He put that nigga in a body bag, like literally a actual. He put that nigga in a actual body bag. I do gotta give him his respect because he was a strong, formidable foe, but the nigga still lost. He got his fucking brain or head rearranged, nigga, fractured up, skull fragments in place. Okay, that nigga don't know what's happening with his life. No fucking more. So, I do think he is a solid fighter because obviously the nigga was locked up for a very long time. So, he is a solid fighter. So, I definitely want to put him... I want to put him in either A tier or S tier. But I feel like S tier is a bit too high because he did beat Dopo. He did beat Dopo in a one-on-one, -on -one, but I feel like S tier is just a bit still too high for him. So I genuinely just want to put him in A just to be safe because I genuinely just don't feel like, I just feel like S tier is just way too high for him. Uh, and then we got my boy Doyle. Now, obviously this nigga, I, I actually fuck with this nigga because I really want to see more of this character for the sake of, I remember the last time you saw his character, he was blind and then after that he ruptured his own eardrums and the reason why he did that was because he was explaining how for me like when you, you lose like a sense the other ones heightened to the point of like for me like like this echo you know what i'm saying like from like how bats how bats like use echolocation to like you to like use and move around their surroundings and shit so he bursted his eardrums and now he has no sight nor nor no hearing so i really want to see this new fighting from bro and how strong he has gotten but um i feel like he's also like a bit weak in my opinion because the nigga did have weapons installed in his body and like all the niggas in baki like you know what i'm saying like they didn't really need weapons you know what i'm saying like this nigga had like guns installed in his body knives installed of his body which was pretty cool but i don't know bro like i don't really think that made him a solid fighter he was beating on niggas he was beating on niggas he's what he he was boxing with oliver for a minute though so i gotta give him that but um i don't know because that nigga still get his eye punched out in the most like bro all bro did was to really just stick out his fucking hand to the right side and he punched that net and he punched out that nigga eye so i don't know but I'm gonna put I'm gonna put bro I'm gonna put him in B tier. I'm gonna put him in B tier. I'm gonna put him in B tier. Gaia. Oh my god. Now Gaia Gaia is probably like one of my top ten characters. I love this nigga so much. First of all, when we first saw this nigga, uh Baki Baki went to like a jungle and he had to fight off like these five military niggas and then Gaia came out. And at first it was two twins, but then after like Gaia is like this alter person, like this alter ego, I guess, or personality person that comes out and then got yo, this nigga was just going stupid, bro. But my favorite moment with this nigga was when he was fighting uh C um it was Sikorowski or something like that. It was Sikorowski, he was fighting Sikorowski, and he was literally, bro, literally, he had the whole arena like fogged up clouded up with the sand and then he counted to 10 each and every single time came out the camouflage bang hit that nigga dumb hard went back in 
one two ten bang hit that nigga again like bro he was really bro and he made that nigga tap out he made that nigga tap out which is cold as shit so i'm not gonna lie i and and two and two at one point he was yujiro's sparring partner for when he was getting ready for something i forgot what it was yujiro was trying to get ready for something and then after that oh no, no no i remember what it was it was uh he was getting ready to fight baki for the first time as a kid i think he was getting ready to fight baki as the first time as a kid think if i'm not mistaken if it wasn't that then it's something else but yeah i think guy is definitely going to be our first it's definitely going to be our i'm gonna put him at ss i'm gonna put him at ss i'm gonna put him at ss i feel like guy guy is a really solid fighter and he's probably one of the coldest fighters bro actually no okay okay probably not ss but he's definitely going to be the first s tier fighter of the day i'm not gonna lie yama uh when yama was fighting spec because spec I think Spec is a calm A tier fighter. Yama almost lost to the nigga. But I still gotta give Yama respect. And I don't want niggas to bring up the point where this nigga stopped Pickle in his tracks or some shit like that. Because that's not even a contest of strength. Because in reality, if him and Pickle would have fought, it's it, like it's a no contest. Yama's dying in like 15 seconds. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just out of respect, I'm gonna put Bro in A tier though. I'm gonna put Bro in A tier. Jack Hanma. The nigga that was like, I, I was supposed to be fighting my father, not Baki. First of all, Jack, bro, eat, bro. Yo, for those who watched that season, my nigga, the last season, or, you know what I'm saying, the last season that we just came off of, bro. Jack had pills and steroids all around him, bro. Pills and steroids all around him. Like, this nigga is not Hama Bloodline. Well, Yudro said it best himself. Well, he is Hama Bloodline, but he's not really pure Hama Bloodline. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's not like Baki at all. He's not like Baki at all. That's why Yudro doesn't even claim him really as a son. You know what I'm saying? He really doesn't even claim him. He, like, for me, with all the advantages that he literally puts in his body, and for him to still be this week is insane. So I'm definitely gonna have to put bro. I I I, I just have to put him in B tier. Like there's just no way I'm gonna put him any higher than that. This now this is where Yujiro was about to go serious for the first time. He was actually about to we was about to see something here, but sadly, unfortunately, he like died, but then came back to life, obviously. Um I was actually surprised because he made Yujiro move. He he made Yujiro scared, okay and um pulling out some moves he's pulling out some moves but ultimately he did lose to the strongest man in the fucking world like let's keep it 100 here so um yeah i you know what i'm saying kaku is a really solid fighter though and uh he also did slice off three niggas hands at the same time so you know what i'm saying with his bare hands but um i don't know i really do got a lot of love for bro but I feel like I should put him at S tier. And the reason why I say that is because, in a sense, Yudro was going all out with him to a certain point until, you know, he died. But it's just like, you know, and to, and to Yudro himself had respect for bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yudro himself was pushing him around the ring before the whole shit started. So, like, Yudro knew for a fact that, you know, this man is 100% strong and he can definitely show something to get Yudro to use his full strength. So, I'm definitely going to have to put Bro in S tier. I got to put, actually, I'm going to put him in SS. I'm going to put him in SS. I'm going to put him in SS tier. I feel like, I feel like he deserves to be there. Okay, so my son Koshu, uh, well, him and his brother have almost exactly the same type of fighting style. I'm pretty sure either one of them or both of them, they, they like go into like your muscle fibers or what your muscle fibers or whatever. And they like pull a string, which like fucks up, like it can fuck up your vision. It can fuck up your balance. It can fuck up a lot of things. The last time we've really seen these niggas fight is Baki the Grappler. I think I'm pretty sure that's the last time we see these things fight. And they went up against each other. And it was boxing for real. But honestly, they're both really just on the same level of fighting. But I just don't think they can beat anybody above decent, in my honest opinion. So I'm going to have to definitely. Actually, no. Because just because of that one technique they have, because they can pull out muscle fibers and stuff, they can probably beat some of the niggas in decent. They can definitely beat some of the niggas in decent. I can probably even put one of them at A. Put, actually, I'm gonna put both the brother as at decent, even though we didn't get up to him yet. They basically are both the same fighting style and everything. Just this nigga with the red head, he's a doctor now, and you know, he helps out a lot. So, yeah, Biscuit Oliver, Oliver Biscuit, the man, 
the boy himself first of all obviously the nigga cannot be Yujiro. okay they fought a very long time ago on baka the grappler Yujiro wiped that nigga and then once again when Yujiro was training with fucking boxing gloves on so he does not hurt oliver he literally bitched the shit out this nigga bro but i have to give oliver his respect because he did gerber so nasty in the prison arc and it's insane and looking at the tier list i don't even see gerber on here i don't think gerber's on here which is absolutely insane but yeah uh he did that nigga dirty so i definitely do think oliver is a hard class fighter and i definitely do think he is a s tier fighter and he is no higher than s tier because if you go any higher than that oscar but what uh oliver does have his limits i really don't think he could fight anyone outside of muscles outside of muscles i really don't think he has any type of fighting technique i think it's just really all muscles he even said it himself that boy pickle now i'm i'm gonna put pickle on monsters but i'm gonna explain why pickle can probably be one of the most dog nasty niggas in the anime if they really chose to make him one of the most dog nasty niggas in the anime so you gotta understand pickle is from a primate time like from where there was not even words nigga so the nigga does not have no fighting style no fighting style no technique no nothing brute strength and the will to fight and live and kill his prey okay and the nigga is like first of all the nigga to be baki okay obviously baki could have you know what i'm saying baki basically won but the nigga beat baki the nigga made you draw use a move okay pickle is really just a force okay a force to be reckoned with if he went to the same training that baki or Yudro went through then 100 he will wipe everyone on his tier list bro because he just just alone his speed he weighs like what 200 kilos or some shit like that or like from like 120 i don't know i don't know the nigga is tall as shit and the nigga is big as shit bro so this nigga has so much potential so that's why i gotta put bro in monsters my boy red two my boy red two first of all c king red two let me get it right okay tournament retsu let me get it right okay and c king boxer retsu let me get it right okay also a force to be reckoned with and i'm not gonna lie he had pickle on the ropes for a minute i really thought he was about to win that fight i was about to be like damn if retsu did it then there's no need for baka to even you feel me c king retsu c king retsu has to go in st he is a very solid fighter he's a very good fighter and he has had some big moments especially in this season too with with his uh with his uh boxer arc I, I think not saying i'm really fucking with i hope he gets to see more of that you know what i'm saying like he 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 really is just a force to be reckoned with bro but i just don't think he's any higher than us okay so my boy goki now i feel like goki he's a very like you can learn a lot from him like he's a better teacher than i feel like sensei he can even i feel like i feel like, i feel like he can even still like teach people like Bati, retsu guy even pickle you know what I'm saying? People that are way stronger than him. Like, like he's just a better teacher than fighter, in my honest opinion. But I really don't have, like, much memory of him. Except from when he was fighting in Baki the Grappler. And also when he was fighting in Baki. But besides from that, he hasn't really shown anything, like, crazy significant to me. Like... But I'm not trying to say that as if he's not an A-tier fighter. Honestly, in my honest opinion, I would have to put bro. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to put bro in the B-tier. All right. Uh, Sorosky. Now, Sorosky. Uh, after this nigga got bitched by Gaia, I don't know. I can never look at this nigga the same. Like, first of all, he got kidnapped by a mob boy. So, obviously, he did that nigga dirty. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Yada, yada. You know what I'm saying? He had his couple little fights. Like... He had his little fights or whatever, but even in every single fight, the nigga got bitched. Like, there was that one point he tried to fight Yujiro. That shit didn't work out. There was that one point where the nigga kidnapped Baki's bitch. And then the nigga thought he was finna hide out in a little warehouse building whatever. And the nigga Baki fought that nigga naked. Kicked that nigga in the balls and threw that nigga off the fucking building. Like, like, like in my opinion, he's probably one of the weakest out of the five. And I really don't even think he's that strong. Like, against normal niggas, okay, but against like an actual fighter or actual strong person he hasn't really shown out so i think i think he deserves to either go 
and decent or just no but for sake i'm gonna put him in decent i'm not gonna lie uh my boy spec um not gonna lie his first appearance was absolutely insane the nigga shot himself in the mouth okay the nigga played babaki okay so i'm on a different level of like with him it's like i really don't know where i'm gonna put him but i know he's definitely not an a s just anything a and up he's definitely not in i just don't think he is because the only fight i can really remember where he was going all out was with yama and i don't think yama's even that strong for me to even put him in a tier so for this nigga to lose to yama he just has to go in b tier he has to go in b tier like there's just no way my boy stride him now uh against regular foes obviously we're gonna put him in just now but against regular foes you know he can like regular human niggas you know what i'm saying he could probably hold his own but against anybody else in this tier list he's probably gonna get folded too i ain't gonna lie and my boy yanagi <sighs> now this man he he got his shit rearranged by yujiro bro he got his jaw fucking rearranged by yujiro so he really doesn't got much leeway to talk but i give him respect because he had like a fighting style that was pretty fine well not his fighting style like he did like a move where he literally sucked all the air out of like the glass or some shit making it break and then after that he's like yo bro what's the most deadliest gas of them all and he said oxygen and i'm like yo this nigga is a demon bro and then he also had a hand which poisoned baki which is why baki was unboxing like correctly in that tournament he had a um he was in a tournament i mean what um he had a hand that was like super poisonous that he poisoned baki with bro and he put his hand in that motherfucker and poisoned the shit out of baki with so i feel like this nigga is definitely tough so i'm gonna have to put him i'm gonna have to put him in b tier i feel like he's b tier but i feel like he's low b though he's definitely low b though and then the man the myth himself yuchiro fucking hanma okay Yuchiro fucking Hama, the man, the myth himself, Yuchiro fucking Hama. Now, y'all might be wondering, where are we going to put Yuchiro Hama? Where are we going to put Yuchiro Hama? Where are we going to put Yuchiro Hama? Obviously, Yuchiro Hama just goes straight in monsters, okay? The nigga took on the whole U.S. force by himself on just a, a small native island and murked everybody. He made niggas jump off a ship, my nigga, just by looking like the nigga is just him and we barely like bro before this season even came out i barely even knew anything about you but all i knew was if he's hama bloodline and this is the only nigga you draw hasn't defeated he's definitely him he's definitely him. and then yujiro fucking hama yujiro fucking hanma <sighs> obviously yujiro has defeated every single the uh opponent in front of him even his own son technically but he does recognize recognize his son as the strongest uh in the world so I, you know i'm saying you gotta give it to him but 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 he did not defeat the one man that we just put in monsters but that doesn't mean anything because yujiro wipes everybody on this tier list still like let's just keep it a stack Let's just keep it a stack. Utro wipes everyone in this tier list still. Now, like I said before, somewhere in the middle of the video when we was on Oliver, that Gerva was not in the tier list. So obviously, I gotta tell y'all what Gerva rank would be and why. Now, I would be putting Gerva in S tier. Now, the reason why I said S tier is because honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I really do feel like Gerva could have beat this nigga, bruh. Like, you do not understand. Gerva trained a army a island of people to go up against missiles tanks guns only using their bare hands no weapons mind you just straight to fighting raw technique gerber is literally a like king of of like not like a tribe like a whole like a whole island of people bro like he trained an army of niggas bro like basically he trained an army of like mini bakis almost you feel me an army of like mini bakis but not really a mini baki if you know what i mean 
and yes i know he's on the same level as oliver when he lost to oliver but i respect it like bro his first time appearance this nigga was stupid and even and even baki was shocked of the nigga even baki didn't even want no smoke with bro so i got to give him that s tier and yeah y'all this is what the tier list is looking like now i know y'all are looking at the, literally i beat them and y'all looking at some niggas y'all probably know some of these niggas now i'm not going to lie to you i like some of these niggas i've only seen in like a what they probably only had like a one-time appearance bro like i don't remember this gray haired fucking guy right here i don't remember this fucking sumo guy right here i don't remember who the fuck this is right here so i'm not gonna lie to you like i'm not gonna rank them bro but i feel like this is a valid tier list now do i want to change anything up let me just look over real quick yeah uh i generally don't think no one needs to be changed like i feel like everyone's in their designated categories like i feel like y'all y'all are somehow always going to disagree with my tier list but i think this is just a valid category like i gave like everyone had a valid reason like i'm thinking of this i'm thinking of this tier list and like best moments best moments and also how hard they fought and who the niggas that they defeated to be where they're at because all the b tier niggas i feel like everyone i put in b tier deserves to be in b tier okay like i feel like the only nigga y'all can make an argument for for not being in b tier it's most likely muhammad ali jr but besides from him maybe he goes up to a tier just maybe but everyone else like i feel like is in the right category 100 percent man but look man as always if y'all boys is new to the channel y'all know what to do man please like please sub please comment i love each and every single one of y'all have a blessed day keep watching anime my beautiful army peace